Hello, my friend. I recently launched a new Notion client management template. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick overview of the template, what's included, and why it might be a great addition to your Notion workspace. To access this template and all the details around it, go to chloefarbsk.com forward slash clients. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment. I'd be delighted to help. Welcome to your client management dashboard. In this video, I'm just going to give you an overview of the template and some of the steps that I've taken to take this to the next level and make it a lot easier for you to attract new clients, convert new clients, manage clients, and really simplify your process, saving you hours of time having to onboard, deliver, and offboard clients every time you get a new lead. So at the top here, we've got some video instructions. You can just click the drop down. You'll see that appears here. And we have instructions for all of the sections on this dashboard as well. So at the top here, we've got your targets. In this video, we'll show you how to pull in your quarterly targets and goals. We have a clock on the right. I'll show you how to customize that. Under action tasks, we've got a different view here. So we've got our inbox today, tomorrow, our meetings, our Kanban board view. We have a new overdue section so we can keep track of tasks that are overdue. And we now also have a built in time tracker. This is a big update that we've made to this database. And if you click the drop down here, we have two new templates in here. So we've got a new action task template. And if we click to edit this, we can open this up and you'll see here your built in time tracker is here. So we can open this up in full view to see that. I'll just leave it for now. And then we also have a new meeting template here. So you can just click in, you can apply this button and you'll see here it pre-populates with the template for you. And all you have to do is embed your video recording of your meeting or your transcript and click generate on any of these two blocks. If you have Notion AI, it will automatically generate a summary and action tasks for you to follow up with on any meeting as well. And this action task database is connected to all of the other databases in your dashboard. So we're connecting everything, making sure everything is integrated. That's the key difference between this dashboard and some of the free templates that I've given away. And it allows things to work um, seamlessly together. So if we move down to our project management, you'll see here again, we've got instructions here on how to use this. It comes with a video. And in that video, I'm walking through how I manage my projects so that I don't get burnt out. So how I plan everything in advance, avoid those roller coaster months. So you get that with this template as well. You can work on your availability here. Now I've also included pricing calculator down here in your sales and marketing section. So that's going to help you with this managing your projects and knowing what clients you need to take on over any given period of time. You have your availability, your project calendar, a gallery of all your active clients, and then a yearly overview of your results and how much revenue you have generated. And of course, we've still got your two templates in here, but we've taken them to the next level. So if we click on this template and we edit this and open this up, you'll see here, we now have some Notion AI prompts in here for you. And we also have a project management section. So this is for any internal projects you're working on. You'll see here, you can view all your tasks, calendar and meeting, and everything is filtered by the project you're working on automatically. Then if we go into your client portal template, your new client template, you can click edit here, open this up. Now in that training, I've gone over every section for how you can customize this. But every time you apply this new template, you're going to get a unique client portal, testimonial request form, case study and project review. And you'll see here, you don't have to configure anything once you've set up your process here. And I'll show you how to do that. You'll see here, you now have a project workspace so you can manage everything to do with your client's project in here. It's going to pull in your internal action tasks. We've got a few views here. You can see your time tracking and then we're also pulling in all of your client portal section so that you can manage it all from here once you share the client portal with your client 
And again, I show you in detail how to do that. I go over permissions. I know that's a tricky issue in one of the questions I was asked a lot. So we'll go over that in the training as well. And we could also pull in your client's invoice in here so you can just update everything from this workspace. Now there's another cool feature here in your client messages. So if we come into the client portal for now, your client is going to send their messages in this help and support section. So rather than go through email, they can come in here and add a new message. So if they click to add a new message and let's just say, I need your help, they will open this up and you'll see here a template is automatically applied showing them how to add a new message. They can attach their media and then when they're ready to send, they'll click send message and you'll see here it will ask them to confirm. Once they hit send message, it's now going to display as successful for them. They can then close this out and wait for your response. They will know when this status changed from need review. And for you working in your client dashboard, you will come down here and you'll be able to see that message in your client messages. But say you're not working in this workspace when your client sends that message. Well, it's also going to add a new notification in your action tasks saying you've got a new client message. It's been captured and it applies to this project. So now everything is speaking to one another. You don't really have to do much in terms of setting it up. You just have to set up your client process one time. Again, I walk you through how to do all of that, but that is all seamlessly integrated for you. Now, if we come back to your client dashboard, you also have a sales and marketing section in here now. So before we even start to work with clients, we need to sign new clients. That's a prerequisite. So here I've built in your sales CRM and your sales pipeline and also your contacts database here. I've configured it so you can add their birthdays and it's going to show you whoever's birthday's coming up here. It's also going to show you who you need to reach out to and we've made this a lot simpler. So no formulas here, we're just keeping it nice and simple and really easy to manage there. Again, an updated offer pricing calculator in here and this also has video. And then we have a calendar view of all of your action tasks in here as well. So there's that's just an overview of the steps we've taken, but you'll see here, everything is just a lot more cohesive rather than having to guess and put it all together yourself. This is a done for you dashboard that allows you to attract new clients, close new clients, and then manage their projects with ease. And like I said, once you can figure that client portal one time, and I walk you through exactly how to do that, you're going to save hours and hours of time onboarding, delivering, and offboarding your new clients. Now, one final note here. One question I get asked a lot whenever I introduce new templates is, what happens if all of my tasks are in an old action task database? Can I move them over? And the answer is yes, I show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. So here under FAQs, it's just a really simple process where you can move any task from any database over to another one. So you don't have to worry about that. If you already have this configured, it's very easy to move your tasks over or your data over to a new database. So that's your client management dashboard. I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to hear your feedback.